What's up, everybody? I'm Raph, and this is Master Roshi. He's a leopard gecko. Master Roshi was actually purchased by Rachel and I on an impulse. So, impulse is something that comes out of what people call the reptilian part of our brain. And in this case, our very mammalian prefrontal cortex, or mine at least, was not enough to control that impulse and stop me from getting Master Roshi. This prefrontal cortex is something that reptiles don't have, and it's known to be responsible for things like planning, problem solving, and even personality. So that brings us to the subject of today's video, which is gonna be, do these little guys have their own personalities? And uh, to do that, we're gonna be doing a, you know, I hate to call it a case study, but that's kind of what it is, of him and his adopted brother, Kamu. But before we roll the intro, I'd like to ask you guys to like and subscribe and follow along with our channel and all of our little friends. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a good one. say that Master Roshi here might be 100% responsible for why we have a reptile room, why we have a bunch of different reptiles, and because he's the first one that we purchased together. Now, I've loved reptiles my whole life, and you know, nothing was going to change that, but this little guy was just so amazing that we quickly realized that we weren't going to be able to just have one. We were, we were very interested in these creatures and we were going to get a bunch. The next of which that we got was actually his, they're not really related, but his adopted brother Kami, who's also a leopard gecko, and you'll meet him a little later on in this video. They are two extremely different geckos, and that's kind of what made the idea of this video. So before we get into comparing and contrasting these two directly, uh, we're going to talk a little more about brains. Reptile brains are not like mammal brains. Uh, no big surprise there. Um, one main thing is that Roshi and his cohorts are lacking the limbic system, which in us is responsible for processing our emotions. And as I mentioned before, the prefrontal cortex is also absent in reptile brains. Again, responsible for things like planning, problem solving, and personality. The truth is the reptile brain is pretty much just the brain stem. Just the basic building blocks of what kind of makes a living thing function. That's not a fish or an invertebrate. Over years of evolution and thousands and thousands of years of evolution really and a whole bunch of mutations, mammals have developed a lot more around this brainstem or reptilian brain. With all that said though, getting down to brass tacks of this video, if you keep reptiles, you notice that they definitely do have basic emotional responses. Things like fear and anger, and uh, I don't know if it's an emotion, but food drive for sure, right? The, their brains do function. But does that mean that they have individual personalities? And I'm not talking about species to species, because, uh, you know, as we talked about in the pros and cons of Bearded Dragons video, Bartaby is, she's just a superstar. She doesn't care. It's all about her. She's flaunting everything that she's got. Uh, no, not a care in the world. But then also looking back at our ball python will eat video, the ball pythons are very shy, so much so to the point that one of ours even stopped eating for a couple months because he wasn't comfortable enough to do so. And that's something Bartaby would never do. So it's a given that each species might have their own, you know, disposition or personality, if you want to call that. But what about two different individuals from the same species? And that's what we're going to talk about today. So first we'll talk about their physical individuality. So number one, as you'll see Kami later on in the video, Roshi is a patternless leopard gecko. So he's not really showing too much melanin where Kami on the other hand has a bunch of black spots all over him. I believe he's a Max Snow, but I'm not 100% sure on his morph. 
just that alone he expresses a lot more melanin in his skin so that's a big difference between them anyway oh i'm hurting roshi's eyes with the sun okay so again comparing him only to kami and that's why i said this is like a case study this isn't some sort of you know we're not really getting any answers today we're just looking at two different individuals and comparing and contrasting them but roshi has a much thicker head even though his body is overall he's a, a quite a bit smaller than kami is He's also leaner in the midsection and uh, has a lot more fat to that tail than Kami does as well. And he's about 10 grams lighter. So now we'll talk about their actual, you know, not nothing on the surface level, let's say, but how they interact, how they behave, their dispositions. Roshi is a dirtmeister. He never has any idea of what's happening. He just goes with the flow because he realizes there's nothing he can really do to stop it when the big monkey man comes with his big monkey hands and grabs him. But honestly, this that has made him a delight of a pet. He never gives us problems with handling. He, you know, he'll dance a little bit like that, I guess. But also he's just completely placid. Never, we've never seen any signs of aggression from him. Barely even with food, and that's another thing compared to Kami. Roshi will sometimes not want food. Sometimes won't notice it as well. Uh, that's part of it. He's not, uh, it's not the brightest crayon in the box, huh, buddy? And even when he does eat, there will be a point where he just decides, eh, you know what, I'm kind of done. And even when it's not necessarily, I don't want to say not enough, because I mean, in captivity, we feed these guys a lot compared to, if we're talking bare minimum, we feed them a lot compared to what they need. But, uh, so, you know, we'll have a certain amount of mealworms set aside and we'll get about halfway through and Roshi's like, no, I'm going to go hide under the rock again. Thanks though. And that's it. This is completely different than Kami, as we'll get to later. So another thing about him, uh, aside from being great for handling and just completely placid in his disposition, is he's like, um, you know, I don't want to be mean. He's uh, he's really not so smart. Um, it's not that smart of a species, number one, to be honest with you. But um, I don't think he's a necessarily a very intelligent individual within the species when we first got him we gave him a climbing branch because i i understand leopard geckos are terrestrial but as you'll hear from a lot of people who keep them with a little bit of height and climbing opportunity uh they'll use it you know if if they have something to climb on they'll climb on it and like i said roshi had his climbing branch and he definitely wanted to use it and he would use it quite a bit and then we'd hear a little thud inside his enclosure and we'd look and he's on the ground then after being up on the branch. So um, I don't think he ever hurt himself significantly. Uh, they're pretty hardy for the size that they are and and really what they are. I mean, it's just a little sack of like, I don't even know, man, it's in there, man. Yeah, he's not. Basically, I'm going to I'm going to wrap up Roshi's portion of this by saying he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. He's not the brightest crayon in the box. Yeah, that's it, buddy, but we love you. Now this is Kami. Of course, Kami is also a leopard gecko. And uh, another thing I didn't mention is they are both males too. So it gives us a, a little more of a control on the study if we're gonna keep calling it that. So physical differences, right? Again, like I said, a lot more melanin, which is this black pigmentation. He's closer to what people think of when they hear leopard gecko, because they get that name because of the spots on them, right? Not because they're leopards. But yeah, so Kami is quite a bit longer overall, I'd say. I haven't really measured their length, but Kami definitely just seems a bit longer. His head is also more narrow, but elongated as well. And then you can kind of see where I, what I've been talking about with a a thicker midsection here and a slightly thinner tail. And Kami's about 80 grams. Kami is a good sized male leopard gecko. I don't have to think much when I have Roshi, but Kami is giving me all sorts of trouble. He doesn't want to get comfortable. When he was a baby, actually, he, he took quite a dive from my hand because just like this, he didn't want to be dealt with in this fashion. No manhandling for Kami. And uh, yeah, he just darted off my hand. He was a little tiny thing, maybe about 10 grams at the time, and got into my heater. And honestly, I thought that was gonna be the end of Kami, but we ended up getting him cornered and we were able to get him and put him back in his enclosure. I'm sweating a little bit already because I really don't want him to just go flying. Also, um, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but 
geckos actually are lizards with vocal cords and as babies especially they like to use them um to try to scare off potential predators and whatnot um i'll put a clip in and i'll give credit to whoever put the video up because this is a really funny video but here you go um, but you know he is great for handling for about 12.6 seconds at a time or so um he's doing pretty well right now i think he got over the initial why am i out here why am i not in my house especially because it's daytime and i i keep um people argue that leopard geckos are crepuscular and you know what maybe fine but my leopard geckos are out at night you know when it starts getting dark they come out they stay out pretty much all night and then they go back to sleep so it's a little new for them it's around i don't know maybe around noon right now so yeah this is something a little different for them now, I attribute this extra skittishness, I don't know what you'd call it, fear, healthy fear, uh, which is definitely an emotion that reptiles have. I attribute this to him just being simply more intuitive than Roshi. You know, he, I don't know what's different. Uh, if I could crack their little heads open without hurting them and look, I would, but I probably wouldn't be able to see anything anyway. But yeah, I think he's just simply more aware. You know, he just seems better at processing things that are ha like right now, where Roshi is just like, okay, I'm warm. Uh, Kami is like, wait, why is this thing holding me and trying to keep me still? And I need to get away stat or else there's going to be problems. Calm down for the people. To the point of him being more intuitive, he's a much better eater. You know, we'll call him a better eater. Also, he won't stop eating. If you keep putting food in his face, he'll keep eating it. He loves all kinds. He loves superworms, mealworms, dubia roaches. Um, neither of them will really eat black soldier fly larvae, and it really makes me angry because it's good for them. But we give them their calcium dusted insects and vitamins and all that. He's also, I, maybe it's simply that his eyesight is better, but he's, um, he's way more accurate with eating too because even when Roshi's perfectly ready to eat and he realizes that there's an insect in front of him he'll a lot of the time he'll miss and Kami really doesn't miss and if he does miss it's because he grabbed the tongs that the insect was on but either way he gets something in his face every time but uh, he actually sees so well that uh they're currently in sterilite tubs uh the two leopard geckos we're working on a plan right now actually for a pretty cool enclosure stay tuned for that not today but like and subscribe and you'll see it later but so it's it's clear so when um when i'm going to feed roshi before i feed kami which is i've switched to feeding kami first because i notice kami gets very jealous and he'll see that i'm feeding roshi in his tub and kami will come right up to the edge of his tub wondering where his is and why he's not getting the bugs and very confused yeah that's just it's a two very different geckos that are the same gender same species um, yeah, everything else pretty much, they were raised the same way. Uh, we literally got Kami about two weeks after we got Roshi. So they were, you know, they've been on the same schedule for however long now, over a year, but just still so many differences between these guys. Now I'm going to go put Kami back so I could finish talking in peace before he just sends himself. Okay. 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 All right. And we're back with Roshi because he's actually calm and he'll let me talk a little bit. So that does it for this particular case study between these two leopard geckos and um now i wish i could say that that constitutes enough to talk about varying reptile personalities but for me to be fully confident with that i would want all of the reptiles um not all the ones in this room all of them to really get an idea of how different they are individually but uh sadly not so sadly because they're amazing out in nature uh but that's never gonna happen so all we have is these little anecdotes and try to piece it together from there. To be honest, this is my true passion, uh, including the reptiles themselves and keeping them and caring for them. I'm just, I'm amazed with the human brain, how the reptilian brain is a basic version of the mammalian brain, and then in turn the human brain, arguably dolphins have a more complex brain, but uh, we don't really know how to talk to them about it, sadly. But yeah, I love, I love the mind and I love reptiles. So if I can uh, keep figuring out a way to make more videos about that, those topics together, uh, I'm going to do it. So I don't know. Let me know. Do you want to see 
let's say leopard gecko personality versus bearded dragon personality videos things like that i'd love to hear from you guys and get back to you in the comments but yeah that does it for today's video um if you think roshi's a derp smile if you think roshi's a derp why don't you go ahead uh my tortoise is kicking everything around leroy it's happening right now the melon's mister just went off let's see if he he might actually go towards it. He usually hates it. He gets so mad at his mister. Yep, that's about it. Uh, like and subscribe to our channel if you thought this was interesting at all. Um, if you learned something about brains, hours, reptiles. You know, it means a lot to us. And, I mean, hey, either way, we're going to keep making some videos. So, you know, hop on for the ride. And that's about it. Uh, anything? Anything, Roshi? Bugs? You want bugs? Thank you so much for watching Red Ribbon Reptiles, and we'll see you next time.